Let's have a look at how the United States diplomacy sees the situation. There is a certain reality, and that reality is that the Troika worked very hard, made some progress, got the two sides to talk for the first time, and laid down some important principles. But I think that process is at an end. If you see what we're hearing from the Troika, it's very clear, and that means now that we have to move on to the next step. It's not going to produce stability in the Balkans to ignore the reality of the situation between Belgrade and Pristina. It's not going to help stability to put off decisions, however difficult they may be. We have to make sure that we have full commitment to the principles before decisions are taken, that they're embodied in the Atasari plan. Condoleezza Rice talks once again about the Ahtisari plan, which, uh, well, it's not bad, but it was already rejected by the Serbs. Does this uh, statement by Ms. Rice mean that the Ahtisari plan will be implemented anyway? Uh, so it is well-known American position. Uh, in the beginning, uh, Washington stated that uh, the Ahtisari plan uh, is the best option of uh, resolving Kosovo status. Uh, and so, in fact, uh, Kosovo-Albanian position from the beginning uh, was the same. Um, Kosovars uh, stated, uh, as soon as we launched the Troika process, that uh, they accepted Akhtisari comprehensive proposal, and then they didn't like uh, to move to another status option. In fact, it was perhaps the major obstacle of the progress uh, uh, in, in, in the Troika process. As for Akhtisari plan, Al, uh, so you, you put good question. I, 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 I can say that uh, the part of uh, Akhtisari proposal is good one. I mean, uh, the part of this proposal related to uh, to protection of Serbs, protection of minorities, protection of uh, Serbian religious and cultural heritage. The problem is that Akhtisari comprehensive proposal means, in fact, uh, Kosovo independence, which is not acceptable for Belgrade. And, th and, and that's why uh, it is not accepted by, by, by uh, Serbs, by Belgrade. So, in, in, in these conditions, in these conditions, Akhtisari comprehensive proposal is not ground for um, new UN Security Council resolution to, uh, to replace uh, 1244 Security Council resolution, and uh, Russia um, can't endorse th uh, this plan in the Security Council. Okay, well, now let's listen uh, to uh, the Russia's position expressed by your boss, Foreign Minister of the Russian Federation, Mr. Sergei Lavrov. We haven't seen any readiness from Pristina to take at least into account Belgrade's legitimate interests. Regrettably, by repeating a thesis about Kosovo's predetermined independence, the Albanians have been following signals from some Western nations that they were ready to support a unilateral sovereignization. The implementation of this scenario could provoke further inter-ethnic contradictions and new violence in the region. Against the background of Kosovo developments, the situation is seen to aggravate considerably in other countries of the region. First of all, in Macedonia, Bosnia and Herzegovina. A unilateral solution will inevitably set a precedent for other similar conflicts. Well, that really sounds worrying, the words of for Mr. Lavrov. Do you believe there's going to be another war in the Balkans? Uh, are the risks so high? Let's put it more diplomatically. There are a lot of risks. Uh, there are a lot of uncertainties. Uh, if <clears throat> Pristina declares unilaterally independence. But in fact, we see that it is an option. And uh, Pristina clearly stated and continues to state that uh, it is going to declare uh, independence on unilateral basis. In fact, allow me to be very brief. Firstly, 
this option will lead to partition de facto. Kosovo Serbs will never agree with independent Kosovo. Uh, secondly, I don't exclude tensions in the region. I don't include, exclude dangerous precedent for Bosnia, for Macedonia, uh, for Albanian populate, populated areas, for uh, the so-called frozen conflicts. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, well, you said that the risks are high after the failure of the Troika monitor talks between the Serbs and the Kosovo Albanians. Uh, will the risks become even higher when the Albanians in Kosovo will declare their independence? And uh, nobody has doubts that it will happen now. Uh. Yes, of course, if, uh, if it happens, if they declare independence, the risk... If it happens or when it happens? Uh, may I say if it happens? Okay, so there still happens. are hopes. Yes. There uh, still are diplomatic options. Yes, yes. Because, uh, so, as, uh, as uh, you said in the beginning of our discussions, the Troika submitted its report to uh, the Secretary General, but in his turn, uh, he has to, to present, to table this report uh, to the UN Security Council and now we expect serious focused discussions in the Security Council and Security Council decisions on how best to proceed. So all in fact will depend on, on the outcome of uh, forthcoming Security Council discussions. But I'm turning back to, uh, to your question. If Pristina declares independence, the risks will be extremely high, extremely high.